believe it. <laughs> <laughs> This is okay. This is wisteria point in his hair. This is so much fun. We're back in the morning oh, brewers, no, friends. We got our friend Laura Kruschmeister okay, no, here, no, who's a director of Animal Humane New Mexico. I'm the marketing, marketing director. Marketing director, yeah. And you have brought in Emma's playing with wisteria. That's here. right. And, and this is Nightshade. <laughs> and Here, let's put it behind these are two of the like 50 cats you have available we have here? actually um more than 100 in our foster care oh my gosh so just every day more cats are available for adoption wow and to help these the, the kitties this That's is right. great you guys we all watch these cat videos all on the, the internet. Time. we all know they are so much fun and you guys are having a cat video Festival. Film festival. Yeah, it's this is um, cool. super exciting. So we've had you know a dog event, Doggy Dash, mm -hmm. for thirty-two Wait. years. Has it been that long? Um, it has been that I long. I take my Fozzie Bear to the Doggy Dash Do and Doddle. Oh, we love it. Awesome. Great time every October, right? Well, we'll talk about that in a couple months. Right. Yeah, but um, we figured it was time in our 50th anniversary to have a cat lover event. Excellent. So uh, Minneapolis actually has this giant cat video festival, and ten thousand people showed up. Wow. So we brought their videos to Albuquerque this year, and we also had a little local film competition, and the films are great. When you say local film competition, was it locals who are actually making mm -hmm, films mm -hmm. of their own kitties? That's, uh, uh, some of them are their own kitties, some of them are friends' kitties, some of them are animated. Oh, um, that's really, cool. they're, they're the best. Well, we've got one, I think this is the horror kitty, you know, that we could show. This is a cool video here, it's one of our favorites. <laughs> That's, one. That is excellent. That's one of the horror. Were there different categories, or did you? Not just, really. Just no, we just, just we weren't sure what we would get this year, so we just left it really open. And there's a really wide variety. And um, there's some really sweet ones, some that are just cats that you know are really well loved. And then there are really interesting, like sort of offbeat things like that that we'll be showing. That's very cool. So the. Um how do you even curate cat videos? I mean, like, they're all, like, they're all going to be cute. Like, how do you say that cat's not cute enough that, how do you oh, even gosh. curate the whole thing? Um, a lot and of And how it, many videos did you, how many hours and hours of cat videos did you, you watch? You know, we only had about 20 submissions this year. Okay. So it was pretty manageable. Um, a lot of it came down to what would show really well on a big screen. Mm -hmm. That's right, because um, it's going to be the big screen at right. the South Broadway, right? Right, right. And a lot of it also came down to the length of time. Like, mm -hmm. we, we wanted to show um, the Minneapolis reel, and maybe next year we'll get enough videos that we, we can just show our videos. It'll be great. But, so we'll show about eight Albuquerque submissions, mm -hmm. and I, I think they're standout, so they're, they're pretty awesome. Oh, come on, Katie. Oh, this uh, Nightshade, I mean, uh, this Wisteria over happy. here with Emma is having a blast. She's just latching on to your fur. <laughs> How much fun is that cat? If you didn't have two at home, right? Yeah. <laughs> she knows how to find a home. She's, she's, she's oh, yeah, good I at that. will take her. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. Oh, she is a, like the softest kitty. And you were telling me earlier there's actually a kitty season? I didn't know this. Yeah, yeah. So every summer, um, all the shelters usually get really overcrowded with kittens, often really young kittens that need to be bottle fed every two hours. Here so probably the reason that she's so friendly is that she's been with us for quite a while and she's been she knows handled people. by people a lot. Yeah, she knows exactly how to climb on my yeah. jacket. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, that's another great reason that we're having this festival is that, you know, it, it's an adopt a shelter cat month. It's in a period of time where we have tons of kittens, and um, we need to help people understand that although we love these things, mm -hmm. they should spay and neuter, neuter their pets. The um, and so every year, do these cats just show up with you people guys? People will bring them to us. People will find them maybe stray around their house. 
Uh, maybe the mom has left, actually, for mm. finding food, and so they think the kittens have been abandoned. Oh. Um, so they bring them to us. Okay. The um, And then I know you also have dogs. Is there a puppy season like that, too? Not quite as much. This yeah. year we had a lot of puppies, but it really doesn't sort of coincide quite the same. Yeah. 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 So what are your hopes with the Cat Festival? I mean, are you hoping that this year you, get, you inspire everybody to... Get out Everyone, there and make some yeah. cat films. Make some cat videos so next year can be even better. Uh, but we're very excited. And raise, a, raise some funds to benefit homeless pets. Cool. We have a little a little graphic here that shows when, when all of this is. So it's the 26th and the 27th. Is right. that the same film slate each night? The same. Or? We just have some slightly different activities. So oh. on Friday night, we have sort of a VIP reception that has sold out. Uh, uh -huh. But we'll also let people come early to get their cool festival t-shirt. We love our logos, so we did a great shirt for everyone. And then Saturday, we have a family matinee. Mm -hmm. So we have some special tickets for children, uh, specially uh -huh. priced tickets. And we'll have arts and crafts. That, Emma was like, wait, you have specially priced kids <laughs> tickets? Emma, was, uh, you're all about that. So you were talking about that you shouldn't stand cats. Well, so when I was, so when we first got our cats, Silver uh -huh. and Domino, um, my we had to span them, and so before that, our cat Silver was so friendly, And but now since she got spanned, she's just, well, not very, and she's just not as nice to be around, so it's definitely important not to span it, like, um, like you said. Well, we actually, you know, definitely want them to not be able to have kittens. Oh, well. So um, oh. it shouldn't affect their personality, so maybe there's something else going on, and you should probably talk to your vet a little bit about it. Oh. Yeah, there is yeah. the... One of the big problems is finding too many strays. Right, right. Like kittens can find homes really fast. We have hundreds of them, but um, then there are all these other older cats that, that also need homes. Right. Well, now I know. Yeah. Right? Same thing with dogs and everything, ocelots. That's right, <laughs> ocelots, homeless ocelots. Right, That's th I'm sure there's a few of them out there. <laughs> <laughs> but the... Um, and the Saturday events. So it's going to be films, South Broadway, and uh -huh. so there's special events along with the films? We're doing some arts and crafts for kids before oh, okay. the show, so you can come, get your t-shirt, have some popcorn, do some arts and crafts, and then we'll also have our mobile adoption unit with lots of That's kittens. That's the worst thing in the world when you bring that mobile adoption really? unit around. You know, I Especially see that. Especially kittens, right? Right. Like, I see that thing, and I think, oh my gosh, I have to get a cat. Yeah. And I, I already have enough fish and dogs and yeah. everything else living in my house. One day you'll find a cat. I probably will. Yeah. The, yeah, the, that's kind of the scariest thing when I see that mobile adoption unit <laughs> show up because I want to play with all of the animals and have a good time, right? But how much are how much is it to adopt a cat? There are some specials too, right? It depends, you know. A Not kitten, that kittens are on sale or anything. A but. kitten right now is seventy five dollars. Probably by the weekend we'll have some sort of special. I'll talk with our adoption team about that. Um, an older cat can be more like thirty five, and then once it's a senior kitty, we kind of just ask people to name their price um, mm. because we have so many senior kitties that need homes mm. that uh, we're. The people have surrendered, or that they've surrendered, just... that maybe um, have been found as strays, that maybe were brought to as ferals and they're really not feral oh mm -hmm. but a lot of the times you know, someone might be undergoing an, um, an, a medical issue perhaps they have have cancer and, and can't care for their pets anymore right. so there are a lot of reasons that pets come into our care mm -hmm. so the biggest need right now though is getting finding all these little kittens homes and finding right. all the cats homes right lots of homes for kittens it's adopt a shelter cat month oh is it really yeah very cool well we will see you on the 26th and the 27th at the the internet cat festival the what's it called again the, the cat internet video. cat video festival i love it it's gonna be awesome and then the uh on june 26th and 27th the cattiest films in albuquerque and we're gonna be back in just a second here with uh oh augustine romero from the south oh my God. yeah just a couple of seconds on the morning brew with friends and emma i think you're taking a cat home